Oh yeah. Look at that one. Right here's a nice trail, Ian. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking mountain goat trail. <laughs> Today I got my buddy Colin with me, Lane and I, and we're on some Pennsylvania public. It's kind of a big woods area. And we just climbed a pretty darn big hill. Um, as the crow flies, it's only a couple hundred yards, but it's probably I don't know how steep it is rough. It's rocky too. And there's still some uh snow and patches and ice too, so it's a little bit tricky, but we got up on this top here. It's actually a thin sliver of public land that butts up to private. The private's maybe 50 yards off the top of the hill here. What we were looking at on maps on, on X is that uh, there's a couple draws that drop down and some little points that kick off. And we're hoping to find some bedding on some of those points that kind of heading up toward that private. Um, the private's got some uh, crop fields and uh, just some good looking habitat. And we're just hoping that a couple buck might be coming off that private on these points or down these draws to bed. The nice thing is like, um, it's so pinched down those points that if you do find the, the sign, it's probably gonna be a good ambush point. The only other issue is gonna be access here. We can't come in from above because it's private. So it's almost definitely gonna be uh, from below access. So we just gotta look at how we can get up this steep hill quietly uh, without jumping everything out of here. It might mean just morning hunting this area. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see what we find. Like I said, we just climbed this hill and I'm looking at a point that comes out, goes out off here behind the camera and I can already see a rub out there, so it's kind of what we're looking for. We'll, we'll walk down there and check it out. See what we can find here today in PA. We did just find the top of the hill on this private. It's probably about 80 yards from here. There is a stand. It's a ladder stand that has um, our shooting rail around it and the cloth. So we're going to assume it's probably a gun hunter. I guess it could be a crossbow hunter too on the private, but like I said, we're 80 yards from there and this sign we're seeing, this trail and these rubs that kind of come off this uh, top of this ridge going down this point, there's a lot of uh, deer poop and sign. That guy may never even touch this sign. If he does, it's probably only in gun season. So uh, we haven't ruled this spot out. It looks pretty good. It could be a spot we hit in bow season to still do really well. We're going to sweep this point a little bit. We're on a, tra a good trail here. There's another good trail over there. Lots of poop and rubs. We're just going to check this point out here to see what it looks like. Maybe pin some spots here. Down here where we think these zero bedding at, we just picked up this skull. It looks like a small doe. But something I have noticed in the past is that when a deer is hurt, you know, injured, be it from you know hunting or whatever, they often go where they feel safe to bed up. So I when I when I find uh, like bones in a bedding area, it definitely, in my opinion, points to that it's an area that at least the local deer feel safe going to when they're hurt or injured. And I mean it, it also kind of points to a potential spot where you can you know get on the deer because this deer, at one, this deer came here to, to lay down when it was hurt and felt comfortable doing it. So odds are other deer come here when they're pressured or, you know, feel like they're in danger. A lot of these trails that are coming off the private on this hillside here, we're on the side hill now, that right on the corner of the point right now. Trails are coming around the point and we get trails on the other side and they kind of intersect here right on this knob. Um, and the private's above us here, right on the, like on the corner of that private. Um, that stands right up top of the hill there, just off the corner. What could be happening here and the trails kind of show that is that we're 100 yards or so, maybe a little further from that stand. These deer are wrapping this point. You can see how through there it's really thick. And we're in some laurel here, and it's thick the whole way around. So those deer could be wrapping this point low, avoiding that pressure and the top of the hill. And I know it looks a little open up there too, so staying out of the open woods, wrapping around here to, to bed or even just travel. I think this point's gonna be really good, especially uh, as bucks start cruising. Got a good trail here, a good trail there. That skull's right there. We found several beds and uh, bunch of rubs nothing real big the rubs but several of them i mean there's definitely a buck using this at, at one point this bed right here lane oh yeah here's one got some hair in it got a bed right here some poop yeah there's hair right there lane yeah. but it's all just in this thick laurel just off the top on this corner here uh i believe i'm not looking at a map for sure but that's south so south uh and that's e uh, east over there so even on this corner here you probably hunt this on south winds for sure, wrap to that side for southeast, and wrap to that side of it for southwest. So you can hunt this, this spot on several winds, primarily south winds, but you know, you, you off winds you get on here and cover this pretty well. The hard part is gonna be, we just talked about before, again and again, it's access, how we get up here. I don't think walking this, the corner of this point coming up is gonna be the, the right thing to do because it looks like there's some beds just going down in even further. I think coming up just on that side of it and probably hunting off that side and in my opinion, probably more of a south or southwest spot hunting that side of the sign because everything's coming this way just because our access is going to dictate that. So yeah, we'll, we'll plot a, we'll probably drop some pins walking out of here and uh, try to map a, a solid route out 
when there's no leaves and you know and uh, it's daylight it's easy to map those routes then you can utilize them in the dark you know when the season rolls around That's where we came up, right through this this low spot here. You can see how steep this hill is. I mean, it's it's probably 70 degrees or so, something like that. I don't know. It's pretty rough. And it's rocky. Keep on trucking. Yeah. Down there, you think he'll be a stud next year? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there's more to it than that. <laughs> yeah. Little buck here. We're uh. We're looking at on X, see if I can bring it up here quick for you. All right, so we're walking this point here. The private's up in here, and this is all the public. What we're hoping to find is on this point some bedding. We're hoping that a buck maybe walks this ridge top here on this point, heading out here to bed. So we're gonna see if we can find any bedding out here. We should start picking up some rubs and some sign as we go out this point. We'll see what we can find. All right, so we're on this point. The point's going out this way. It looks like it's probably gonna end in about another 150 yards here, but. You can see how the hill here, the main ridge line runs this way. But this kind of point comes out here toward the camera and you got a bench here. And actually around this bench here you're talking about, turn right here. Look at the rubs right here starting to pop up. Got here's the trail here running the bench line, the bench right here. Got an old rub here, rub, better rub here. Yeah, on both sides there, it's kind of going out that point, so it's, we'll hopefully pick up some buck bedding right out here. Alright. But it's running right on this bench here. Just kind of follow That's this good. bench. Walk off. There's a rope there. Lean, uh, check this out here. Uh, if any of you guys follow the hunting beast, um, Dan Infault talked about it a while ago, maybe last year. We got an old balloon here. He kind of touched on that it, sometimes he finds some really good buck bedding associated with these balloon, old balloons. Uh, I guess kind of playing off of like where all the winds kind of come together, those points are also where the deer kind of go to uh, smell multiple areas. It's where these balloons kind of collect. Um, a bunch of guys got all excited about finding balloons like last year on the Hunting Beast uh, Facebook page, but I mean, we just found one in this spot, so should we, I mean, maybe we should be pumped up, I guess. Yeah. You know? it, is, it, is, it is an interesting observation he made. I think it's a, you know, there's some merit to it for sure. Yeah. Um, we're going to take this out with us so it's not laying here. Not because I'm, I care about litter, just because I don't want people to find the balloon. I'm just kidding. I want to just get rid of the litter. <laughs> All right, so we're at these cedar trees here. Uh, we we're just over there, about 30 yards. And see this one cedar tree here has got a really good rub on it. Right there, that tree is probably about, you know, what, maybe 9, 10 inches diameter. Yeah. And then here we got an old, another, another cedar tree. It's older rub, but still been hit for sure. And I mean, this, if you connect the dots, we didn't pin every rub, but Looking at on X and just going off memory, we, we probably cut easily 20 or so rubs across this bench here within probably a 20 yard kind of window along this ridge or this hillside here coming out to this point. So like I said, we're still necking down. There's not much off this point for the deer to go to. So we're assuming out here a bit's gonna be where he beds, um, we would think, but there's definitely buck sign coming out this point. One uses this and from the rubs we've seen and the poop we've seen in some of the tracks, it's not a little buck either. All right, so we're, we're almost at the end of the point. Raleen just filmed some rubs back here about 10 feet behind us. If you look at this uh, cedar tree here. It's been hit. Got a rub up here, pretty high. And there's rubs right over there too, but look right here, there's a bed right there. And right behind that cedar tree is a bed. All right here tucked in under this big, I guess it's cedar. I assume that's what kind of tree that is. But the pine. But like I said, we got all these rubs right here around this these beds. And then the rub line we're, we're walking is right out through along this ridge line here. And, I mean, that buck could dump off this point. We looked at it, it's not too bad. It's not terribly steep. It's, it is rocky and rough, not bad. But he could also drop down this side here. We'll run the top out. But there's a hiking trail that comes in here, just down over the hill here, that goes out this uh, creek bottom. We think we might be able to use that creek and that trail to get down this side here, slip up in here. And if it was an evening hunt, we'd have to go further out the point to avoid him bedded here. We gotta stay down the hill a little longer. <clears throat> excuse me, a little longer. If it was morning hunt, we could come up this, you know, early in the morning, get somewhere in here. I mean, there's plenty of stand-sized trees right in here. 
hunt these this trail. I mean, these trails are literally right here within 20 yards of us going right out at this point. It's probably a pretty good setup, at least a try. I would definitely give it a try. Yeah. I mean, it, there's definitely the, there's definitely a buck using this. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, right there's another rub. Yeah. Right there. yeah. Can you hear something? Man, that's crazy. Like this. Think about this deer. Is this made deer? Yeah, I forgot about these. What's that? I mean, oh, I'd sleep here. Dude, this is nice. <laughs> like, I'd sleep right here. It's oh, comfy. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I would sleep in this bed. <laughs> I gotta bring my sleeping bag camp out here someday. No, but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were on the other side of this point, and it was literally probably, what, 15 degrees cooler and yeah. in the wind. And there's snow on the ground. And there's snow, right yeah. There. And you're on this, this whole side of this point is, is noticeably warmer, and then this bed's out of the wind. Got some good thermal cover with these pines here. I mean, like I said, I would camp out right here too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got a lot of hair right here. Lane, you're sitting in the other bed right there. Yeah. I went down, there's some other beds, you know, like there's a blowdown over here, maybe behind that as well. But what we should maybe do is um, I'm going to pin these beds and, you know, pin this tr these couple of exit trails, looks like going out toward the private in those fields and uh, just have a rough idea of his, which should be his direction of travel so we can set up an ambu you know, ambush spots along that yeah. travel corridor. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I yeah. mean, he's rubbing this right at his bedding area. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet, man. That guy, Greg Litzner, he would probably set up like right here and shoot this bed. Like in the morning, he'd get here early and shoot, shoot to this bed or within range of this bed for sure. Yeah. And he kills some great buck doing that. I never did that before. That's you should cool. try it this year for this one. Yeah, this, this would be a be, prime setup. This would be the that. one to do it. Yeah, come in here. I mean, yeah. it'd be cool to set a cell cam on this bed and just to know that one's using it. And once you knew one was using it, then I, yeah, for sure. Hmm. It's pretty cool. I like I like to hunt with that girl listening guy sometime or I pick his brain. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Alright, so we uh, just got back to my house. Um Kyle and Lane and I spent, you know, the good part of the morning scouting that public here in PA. Um we pinned two or three really good spots today on those points we looked at. We got a, we found some really good examples of, of buck bedding and um just I don't know, we should have got some good footage of that today, I Lots guess. Lots of sign. Yeah, yeah, rubs. Lot, yeah, several rubs. Colin, Colin just he um he just got back into bell hunting what two years ago. Yeah. So wanted to come along and get back into the scouting thing. So hopefully it was educational for you today and oh yeah saw plenty of sign, lots of rubs. So yeah, it should be some good footage for you guys.